Next is Corey Cole. I'm as big of a fan of the Oscars as anyone, but did you read that the story in The Hollywood Reporter where a member of the Academy admitted that they'll never vote for an Avengers movie no matter what? What happened to being fair and objective? Should someone like this even be allowed to be voting a voting Academy member? Does something like this pretty much discredit the whole system? Thanks. All right, so this has been going around um, social media, whatever, the last 24 hours or so. The funny thing is, this is actually something from February. This was actually something that came out in a, an article in The Hollywood Reporter that was really kind of about something else um, all the way back in February. Now, just so we're all on the same page, here's the literal thing that was said, okay? This is the actual quote that was made about that. And it's important that we read the actual quote so we're all on the same page here, okay? This is what, and a, a voting, a director, by the way, a film director who's part of the 519 member directors branch of the of the academy said this specifically there is just no way on earth that i will ever vote for anything with the word avengers in the title like a lot of other people in the academy i don't respect money grabs that's what they wrote okay that's the literal thing that they wrote Again, there's just no way on earth that I will ever vote for anything with the word Avengers in the title. Like a lot of people in the Academy, I don't respect money grabs. So that's what he literally said, okay? So it's important to keep that in mind. Now, before we get into the whole ins and outs of it, there's a couple things I want us to keep in mind here. One, this is the voice of one guy who is a part of a 519 member director's branch of the Academy, which is a part of a 7,000 voting member Academy. This is one guy out of 7,000. All right, let's just keep that in, into perspective here because I'm gonna tell you what, if we poll 7,000 people who watch this video, more than a couple of them are going to say something very similar to what that guy just said. It doesn't mean that everybody who watches the John Campion show feels that way, nor should we paint the, with a brush that broad just because you find a couple of people that feel that way and express that. Nor should one guy who's a part of a 519 member branch of a 7,000 member board be constituted as reflecting or anywhere near accurately ref reflecting the feelings of everybody else in the academy. Because again, you grab any random 7,000 people, you're going to find people that same opinion and a lot stranger opinions, as a matter of fact. Also, keep in mind that what he just wrote was basically, look, he there's actually nothing wrong with what he just said. Now, I know it feels like there is, but actually listen to what he's saying. The basic gist of what he's saying is he looks at these movies and he doesn't see quality. He sees money grabs and therefore he doesn't vote for them. That's his opinion of those movies. Doesn't mean you have to agree with it. Certainly doesn't mean I have to agree with it. But there's actually nothing wrong with somebody saying my opinion of those movies. I don't think there's artistic merit and I think they're just money grabs. That's how I see them. So I'm not going to vote for them. There's actually nothing wrong with that. It's not my opinion. It's not your opinion, but it's his opinion. One opinion amongst 7,000 other people. 7,000 other people who, by the way, whose opinions nominated Logan, a comic book movie, for one of the highest honors of the Academy Awards for Best Screenplay, and the same Academy that actually nominated a comic book movie last year, Black Panther, for Best Picture. So just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. That's important to know. Should somebody like this, who doesn't like the movies I like, be allowed to be a voting Academy member? Hell yes. Hell yes. This is the beautiful thing about movies, Rob, is that we are a, we are all vastly different people with who come from vastly different walks of life, with vastly different backgrounds, tastes, experiences, expectations, whatever, and we're all going to have a million different opinions about the movies. And the great thing is, is that we all watch them and some of us feel some way, some of us feel the other. I read what this guy said, and while shocking off the top, I also don't see anything technically wrong with what he said, but I know there are some other people that are reading what he said and feeling very upset by it. Rob, you see this and hear this. What's your first reaction response to this? The guy's a douchebag. <laughs> and I'll, 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 no, and I'll tell you why. Why? Because what he's showing is is a prejudice against a genre. Yeah. I disagree. And, and I no, I he, disagree. Uh, he, he, because you're he's putting saying, words in his mouth that he never nope, said. He, he said an Avengers movie is a cash grab. Because he watches them and As he feels if, that that's what but, it but was. But that is, look, let's let's just talk about another genre for a minute. Cops and robbers. 
They've been making cops and robbers movies since the dawn of cinema. On one hand, you can have Paul Blart mall cop. That's on one hand. On the other hand, you can have... Don't you talk crap about Paul Blart. You can have Michael Mann's Heat or Thief or Sidney Lumet's, like, what, Prince of the City or something like Serpico. You can run the gamut of, of within the same genre of something that's lowbrow or something that is, is trying to hit on all cylinders and really make an incredible statement about the human condition. Although I would dare say there's maybe a little bit to say about the human condition in Paul Blart Mall, Car, Mall Cop. <laughs> the Avengers films That's a very open-minded not, of you. <laughs> but they're not shameless cash grabs. In your you opinion. Have, you have two, no, it's not even my opinion. These are two directors who are honing their craft, mustering the forces of literally thousands and thousands of people. They're, they're, they've got millions of moving parts and decisions they are they are phenomenal examples of filmmaking now you might not look the prejudice it's a shameless cash grab what movie isn't a cash grab every single commercial hollywood movie that is made is looking to make money yes this is not this is not show friends it's show business and for somebody to say a shameless cash grab they spent 350 million dollars on endgame it's the culmination of 22 movies and i get angry because as a genre film fan i have been listening to all of my favorite genres be thrown into some you know, ghetto, ghetto, not shtetl. I was going to say shtetl, but some like the, the the ghetto, the ghettos that the Jews had to live in that were in World War Two. You know, they, 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 these these genres that people throw them away as if they're worthless. Science fiction, horror, fantasy. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of listening. And this is just another example of that. It's like, look, man, Return of the King won Best Picture in all the Academy Awards it was nominated for. It was a phenomenal example of filmmaking. And I can't stand it when people just write off entire genres of cinema. It just, ah, it makes me so angry. You know, that guy just wants to have made a movie like Avengers Endgame. He wishes he could because his career is probably moribund. You know, he wanted to make a movie about, I don't know, uh, who oh, I'm not even going to say what I was, just came into mind, but something that <laughs> that he would probably be a hipster on the indie circuit for making. You know what, dude? Too bad. Go Russo Brothers. Go Kevin Feige. I love seeing Avengers Endgame make two and a half billion dollars. What have you done lately? <laughs> okay. Sorry. Love it. Here's the thing. Number one, you just got mad at something he never said. He never said anything about the comic book movie in in general. He, he did. Ne- he said no. he would never vote for an Avengers film. He was yeah. Never vote Avengers for Avengers an- is not the entire comic book genre. He never said I will never vote for anything in the com- in the entire comic book genre. I don't know. I think, that, I think he was using that as an he, example. You then you're putting words in his mouth because what he literally said, you're putting words in nope, his mouth. I'm going by what he said. Here's okay, here's what he said. This is the literally what he said. To show me, point me literally where he says the entire comic book genre. There's just no way on earth I will vote for anything with the word Avengers in the title. That's what he literally said. He literally okay. said this okay, one but, franchise but of films. That's your literal meaning, but what is the figurative yes. meaning? What no, does he no, really no, no, mean? No, 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 Now you're, when you get into this BS of what's his figurative that's meaning, not BS. you are putting words in his mouth that he did Allegory, not say. Allegory, metaphor. That. Acknowledge that. You are I, putting words in his mouth that he didn't say. No, because you're being legalistic. No, that's no, like I'm saying, saying the, earth, the earth was created in dude, six no, days. No, 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 no. You are interpreting that. something he said, and you're putting your own spin of your interpretation on it. Now, could he have meant that? Absolutely. He absolutely could have, but you're taking your own interpretation of what he said, and you're putting it as a definitive on his sake. He said he doesn't like comic book genre movies, when in actuality, and Rob, you and I have both been victims of this, where people online said, Rob said this, and you're like... I did not say that. I said this. Well, that sort of me. You and I have both been victims well, of that online. Right, but I think and it's... he literally did not say that. So let me let me get to my point. But here. then he follows up and says, yes. what is he says? A, it, a shameless cash yeah, grab. Uh, yeah. How is any for any four of the Avengers any four of the Avengers movies a shameless cash okay, grab? That's his Those interpretation. Those movies are beautifully crafted. That's his interpretation, his opinion, and he's entitled to it. I will say though, and I'm glad you got to it before I did that what drives me crazy is whether it's academy members film fans whoever who point at a movie and say that's a cash grab because the first thing i want to do is sit them down and say you do realize that 
every movie that gets made is a cash grab, right? Like you, you do understand to one degree or another because as Rob, you so accurately put all the time, what do you say, it's not the friend business. It's not show it's friends, friends, it's show, it's show business. business. It's a business. Of course, these movies get made. These studios invest these multi-millions of dollars to make money. You should not count as a strike against any particular movie because it has aspirations to make money. That's not a negative. That shouldn't be looked down upon. That's what every movie tries to do to one degree or another. So what he said there is ridiculous. All I'm saying is that if this guy, as an individual, somebody who watches movies, watches the Avengers movies, they strike him as having no artistic merit, I think they do. You think they do? A lot of us watching the show think they I do. I think objectively they have artistic merit. Uh, don't even get into that ridiculous argument with me again. There is no such thing as objectively. Anyway. Don't believe that. <laughs> you're wrong. Show me the measurement. Anyway, if he looks at it that way, and, he's, and, and to him as a film fan watching these movies, if to him, and I can disagree with them all I want, if to him they're, they are devoid of enough artistic merit to constitute quality, and, he, and that just leaves it to him as seeing them as cash grabs, even though every film is a cash grab, then technically what he said, there's nothing wrong with it. He's an individual person expressing an individual opinion. Well, that's, look, there is nothing wrong with stating, but all opinions are not correct. You can't just say that. But that, yours isn't either. But but <laughs> I, I'm not, I, didn't, I don't have an opinion. I'm, I'm, I'm judging, I'm, 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 we're judging his statement, the statement that he, that, he, that he has made. I don't necessarily think that every single opinion that everybody spouts is correct. I think demonstrably, if you wanted to get into it, you could prove him wrong. No, you can't. You can. No, you can't. Because not everyone's opinion is, is, is worthy or valid and, or true. Dude, uh, look, we're not going to get into this whole thing again about art. Something you cannot measure, it's therefore not it's not it's quantifiable. Look. He looked at a piece, he looked at a piece of art and he said, "I don't see the value in this art." That's his opinion, and he's entitled to it. And we can all disagree with him, but that is his opinion. He's entitled to and his opinion, and but that so, there, so then what's wrong right. with him expressing his opinion? And you saying that there is artistic merit, that doesn't mean you're right either or that I'm right. We see it that way. No, but, but I doesn't. think you could demonstrably prove that there is artistic you, you merit. You cannot prove anything. Movie. But the bottom line is, if you acknowledge that, that he's entitled to that opinion, he is. then what's wrong with expressing that opinion? Well, Nothing. Any, anyone's entitled to an opinion, but it's the fact that he's on the he's a voting academy member. That's like the bigger issue that he actually has exactly a right to shoot down and even though he's one of 7,000 he has a right to just shoot down I mean I know you're going to disagree Rob but I kind of interpret it the same it sounds like it's coming across that he doesn't like any superhero movies in general but maybe he just meant like you know I don't want to see Avengers movies like I will never vote for a Saw movie in my entire life right. and that's fine but also he shouldn't be thinking like that at all I think if you're a voting academy member like you should never ever be thinking I will never vote on a movie like that because you don't know what is going to come out in five years so he should just zip it yeah and I think I think there's something to that the, the problem I have with his comments the, the two problems I have with the comment are number one the whole ca crash cash grab thing we've been over that already but even though I'm not going to put words in his mouth and say that he was talking about the entire comic genre because that's not what he said even if that's true to say, okay, so what happens though if the next Avengers movie comes out and is really great that would check off all the boxes that you would have, Mr. Voting Member of the Academy, mm -hmm. are you still then going to stomp your feet and dig in your heels and say, well, even though it does check off all my boxes, I'm still not going to vote for it. Like, because that is a problem. That's, that well, does become a problem. You just distilled the biggest problem, I think, in what he said is that he has he has defined a prejudice for himself that he is not going to keep an open mind. Right. And I think that's the real danger because we are in a constantly evolving and changing culture. And and one of the things right now we talk about the culture war and all this, and part of that is because people are set in their ways. They're, they're not willing to like look at something objectively, maybe, and, and open their minds and say, oh, you know what? I never thought that I could possibly be moved by this kind of a film, and lo and behold, it moved me. But if you're not open to at least trying, you're never going to move forward. We're never going to grow. You're never going to evolve as a person. And that's the thing. Like, Let's take Booksmart for a second. 
Perfect example. It, it, it doesn't, it did not look good to me. I didn't think it was gonna have whatever. But when you go to see it, you gotta leave that baggage at the door, go in and just look, I'm not, I don't have high expectations for X-Men Dark Phoenix. We'll get, we'll get to that in a second. Um, but you go in, you leave your baggage at the door, just watch it and judge it on its own merits. And that's why I have the two problems with the statement. I don't have a problem that this guy's a voting Academy member. I don't have a problem that he doesn't like the Avengers movies. I don't have a problem with any of that. The cash grab thing is idiotic, but the other thing is, even if it's just talking about the Avengers movie specifically, to say, I am going to prejudge and just decide that now and forevermore, I'm not gonna vote for it regardless of how good they become in the future, even by my own standards. Right. Even if they become great by my own standards, I'm never gonna vote for it. That's a place that, uh, not just this Academy member, Rob, I think that's a place a lot of film fans put themselves in. They were seeing that with Robert Pattinson's cast as Batman. I'm not gonna watch it. Why don't you give it a shot Dude. before saying whether we are or not gonna watch it, right? And I think that's a prevalent thing amongst a lot of film fans, not just. I I couldn't agree more with you. And and what you're just saying about Booksmart is a perfect example of why I love the movies. People with different beliefs, different religious beliefs, different sexualities, different gender identities. People from all walks of life gather into one room that they might not ever be in the same room with these people, but they'll gather into one room, the lights will come down, the, the, the curtains will open, and a movie unfurls. And for that two hours or 90 minutes, you've got all kinds of different people, and you get to show them a story, and it unifies everyone in the audience. And everybody has a different opinion or whatever, but what's great about the movies is once we're in that box together, all of us different kind of people get to experience the story on the big screen, and that's magical, man. How many people, what kind of events gather people in that way? I mean, even soccer games in, the, in, 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 in England have people battering each other in the face if their team isn't winning. There's soccer hooligans. There's no movie hooligans. Everybody loves the movies. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, listen, jump down to the comments section below. What do you think about all this stuff? It's a huge topic. We could probably spend an entire hour on. We don't have time for that, though. But jump down to the comments section below and let us know what you think.